What is going on YouTube? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, it's going to be a tech vlog. I'm actually going to review two of my favorite gadgets that I bring with me every day. The first one is on my wrist over here. This is the Huawei Watch GT. And the second one is one of my favorite in-ear headphones. This is the Louis Vuitton Horizon AirPods. So let's get started. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are giving away a brand new Yeezy 350 Boost V2 Creams. The mechanics are listed down below in the description box, but you have to be subscribed and you have to follow me on Instagram and you have to hit the notification bell to be part of the raffle. We will be announcing the winner to that one very soon, so make sure that you guys join that particular well, contest. Now, apart from that, at the end of this vlog, at the end of this video, I am announcing a new giveaway. And we're actually giving away Marshall Wireless Headphones. What's up? This is absolutely insanely sick, guys. One of the best wireless headphones that you guys can pick up, especially with that classic Marshall branding that you can find on, well, usually amplifiers and speakers. So again, make sure that you watch until the very end of the vlog so you can see the mechanics on how you can win this Marshall Major 3 wireless headphones. While we're on the topic, this vlog is actually brought to you guys by Digital Walker. Digital Walker is one of the best gadget shops that you guys can visit here in the Philippines. They carry a lot of brands ranging from OnePlus, Marshall, Spec, and a bunch of other crazy items, even like smart home stuff for your house, including items from Xiaomi. You can find it over at their store. I have great news for you guys. I'm actually hooking you up with an 8% discount on their Shopee page for three items. One is their Marshall Action Speakers. The second one is their OnePlus smartphone. The other one, I think, is their other OnePlus smartphone, all of which can be found down below. Again, it's 8% off. It's not a small amount. So if you are looking or if you've been planning on buying a OnePlus smartphone or Marshall speakers, now is the best time to do so. Check the links down below on how you guys can avail of that exclusive 8% discount just for the viewers of this vlog. Let's start with my favorite in-ear headphones. This is the Louis Vuitton. Louis? Louis Vuitton <laughs> uh, uh, Horizon AirPod. So this actually made waves when it was first announced because of its hefty price tag. This one sold for over 68,000 pesos, roughly over a thousand US dollars. And people just went crazy seeing that they just put like the LV branding and it's now crazy expensive, but that's actually how luxury works. Now, it's not just the LV that make it expensive because let me try to break it down for you guys. The, the earphones that you guys will find here was actually in partnership, I think, with the New York-based company that actually makes this exact earphones that they sell for 20,000 pesos or $400. Now, obviously, there is 40,000 more that's missing. So what does the 40,000 pay for or what are you going getting extra for that amount of money? First up, is this genuine, I'm not sure whatever kind of leather, but it is amazing quality leather carrying case with the brand Louis Vuitton written on it. So as you guys can see, it has a zippered compartment over here. You have the LV branding at the top. It comes in this navy royal blue color. It has a tan like zip, zipping thingy zipper that you see along the side. Now the problem with this one, it looks cool, it looks amazing, but it's actually a bit hard to operate because it's not as smooth to close and open. And unfor unlike, for example, the AirPods, all you have to do is to pop it open, you get your AirPods and then you're good. This one, you have to unzip it first and then you get to the second like compartment, which is this charging carrying case, which is again, another exclusive for this particular device, something that you don't get with the 20,000 version. The build on this one is sick. I mean, from the LV monogram around the top over there, you have the actual build, which is solid steel. And then you have the charging port over here at the bottom of the carrying case. Now, if you pop it open, then that's when you get the actual headphones or the actual earphones. So those are the extras that you're actually paying for apart from the LV branding. Now, is it worth it? Is it something that you should pay for? 
Well, if you are a collector of Louis Vuitton, if you are a collector of luxury items, if you just love the idea and you have the money and in doing so, you will not plunge your family into serious debt, then it might be worth a shot and you might want to consider it. But if you will take a loan, if you will, you know, you will have to suffer a little bit to be able to buy it, I don't think it's a great idea. Your money can be used somewhere else. Now, in terms of sound quality, just to, to wrap up the review, this one is excellent. One of the best in-ear headphones that I've worn. Again, it does come from a legitimate technical expert that comes, that produces headphones that usually sells again for $400. So you get the performance of in-ear headphones by masters who make stuff like this that sell for usually 400 to 450 to 500 US dollars. So the, the isolation, the base, everything is pretty, pretty good with this particular device. However, there is one major issue that I have with the Louis Vuitton AirPods. It's not even the price. My main issue with this one is that the microphone is incredibly crappy. And, and, and considering the market that LV is selling to, and of course I'm talking about most likely they're, 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 they are catering to executives, businessmen, entrepreneurs, people who are on the rise when it comes to their career they would want in-ear headphones or airpods that have excellent microphones because they are probably doing calls all the time so i think that is a major major con especially since you're paying so much i mean you are paying like a thousand dollars you are paying like sixty thousand plus pesos for this thing the great sound quality the lv branding is absolutely not enough it has to deliver on all fronts. It has to deliver on the microphone. It has to deliver on the sound quality. And it has to deliver, of course, on the overall look and feel and hype, which it does in speed. But again, the microphone is really something that doesn't work well. So that, I think, is my major gripe with the Louis, Louis Vuitton Horizon AirPods. It's really all about the microphone. So that's the first item I want to review for you guys. This is the Louis Vuitton Horizon AirPods. Next up, let's talk about my watch. When it comes to smartwatches, I have a fair bit of experience. I've had the Apple Watch, I have several other Android smartwatches from different brands. I even have the Tag Heuer connected smartwatch that you guys see over here that I spent like over 60, 70,000 pesos for when it first came out. This is the first generation, by the way. And I even have this new one, the one that I've been rocking recently is the Huawei Watch GT. Now, when it comes to smartwatches, before you even uh, you know, pull the trigger and buy one. There's one question that you have to answer. And this is the question you actually have to answer every time you buy something expensive. And that question is, why? Why are you buying it? What value does it add to you? How does it make your life a little bit better? Does it solve any problem that you currently have? If the answer to all of those are either blanks or no's, then chances are you don't really need the smartwatch. So what are the situations that you would actually want or need the smartwatch? Now, I can't speak for you, but I can speak for myself. When it comes to smartwatches, I am after really the unison of a watch on my wrist with a fitness tracker on my wrist. I used to rock like a Fitbit Charge HR. So it's like this very thin strap that's around your wrist that tells you the time, monitors your steps, and at the same time checks your heart rate. So all those things combined, I would see on my Fitbit app and it would allow me to check how I am in terms of my target goal for steps, how I am in terms of my target goal for physical activity for the day. That's important to me because I am trying to lose weight and one of the ways that I'm doing that is setting a minimum number of steps that I need to do every day. So I, I want to hit like anywhere from 8,000 to 10,000 steps every day on top of my diet and every now and then going to the gym. Now having said that, I didn't like how the Fitbit charge looked because it literally just looked like a, a strap of gadgetry on my wrist. I love the look of a watch. I love the roundness. I love the build. I love the aesthetics of a watch. And I really wanted the smartwatch that worked. Now, the Fitbit smartwatch that came out still looked like too much like uh, a fitness tracker. It doesn't really give you that watch vibe. And that's where the Huawei Watch GT comes in. This particular watch already has the, the fitness elements that you would want everything from the heart rate sensor to the step tracker to the integration to google health as well as huawei huawei health especially if you are rocking like a huawei smartphone 
the seamlessness, the way these two devices connect and talk to one another is pretty sick. So that's the reason why I went for this one. Apart from that, it looks really nice. I mean, if you take a look at it and compare it with the, with the Huawei, with the Tag Heuer like connected smartwatch, to some extent, this actually looks even, even better because of the quality of the display. And this one has the heart sensor. This one doesn't. This just has like a step monitor, which is kind of frustrating again, which brings me back to my complaint about the Louis, Louis Vuitton uh, airphone, AirPods. This one looks good. This one is expensive. This one performs well. The same here. But this one lacks the microphone, which is essential. This one lacks the heart rate sensor, which I think is also essential for any person wanting to buy and wear a smartwatch. Again, frustrating. You pay so much for tech that don't deliver everything that you need. Blah. So that's where we go back to the Huawei Watch GT. This one has everything. And this one sells for just a little over 12,000 pesos, if I'm not mistaken. Roughly a little over 200 something US dollars. Not a bad deal. I mean, it has everything. It has the aesthetics. It looks pretty nice. At the same time, delivers you all the functionalities that you would want on a smartwatch. And that's the reason why I picked this one up. So those are the two gadgets that I wanted to talk about. Again, we have the Louis Vuitton, uh, what do you call that? Horizon. AirPods and the Tag Heuer and the Huawei Watch GT2. Oh, we now come to the fun part of the vlog, the announcement of a new giveaway. So like what I mentioned at the very start, we are giving away a brand new Marshall Major 3 Bluetooth headphones. How to join? To those who've seen my mechanics, to so those who've seen the previous contest, you go, you guys know how this will go down. Number one, you have to subscribe to this channel. If you're not subscribed, you are not part of the giveaway. Number two, you have to follow me on Instagram. Number three, you have to hit the notification bell down below after hitting subscribe. Number four, this is an added mechanic. You have to follow Digital Walker on Instagram. The link to that can be found below in the description box as well as the comment section pin. Make sure that you guys follow them. If you do not, if, I, if you win and I see that you don't follow them, you get disqualified. That is very important. And lastly, in the comment section down below, please do share with me what your favorite daily gadget is and then include your IG handles. Again, share in the comment section what is your favorite gadget that you bring with you every day and include your IG handle so I can connect with you guys once we announce the winner. Who knows, you might win. Good luck to all of you. And that wraps up our vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys like the gadget. I don't know, like show and tell that I just did for you all. And I hope you all had a great week, weekend. And obviously, I pray that you all have a blessed week up ahead. Guys, that's it for now. Peace. God bless. What's up? Boom.